breakfast is being served. Thank goodness. You know, I cannot believe... Oh, champagne. That's right. I am starving. Where did you get all this? Compliments of Monica Quarterman. But she doesn't know it, and you don't tell her, all right? Mm. So, how did you sleep, huh? I can't believe you have the audacity to ask me that. Would you just look at me? I haven't even had the worst night of my life trying to sleep on this stupid, stupid trays lounge. I didn't even have a place to take a bath. Yeah, look now. Edward wants me to ask you to be patient. Patient? Uh huh. I am a saint. I am the epitome of patience. I am the patience of Job. Now, when are you going to get me out of this horrible place? We just want to keep you under wraps for a little while. That's all. Under wraps? I cannot believe it. That I want you to tell Edward Quartermain for me that unless he finds me a decent place to stay right this minute, that the deal is off. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. Look, uh, why don't you just have a little bit of this, and it'll make you forget all about the terrible night you spent here, huh? Come on, go ahead. Thanks. Good. Well, where's yours? Well, I can't have any. See, I, I'm not staying. I don't want anybody to get suspicious. I don't you are not going to leave me in this place all alone. I am absolutely dying of boredom. Okay. You know, I've got a good mind just to walk right out of here and tell the entire world that Tiffany Hill is back in town. No, don't do that. I'll stay. I'll, just for a little while, okay? I'll stay. If I go in another glass. Aha! Here okay. You go. Work for you. Glass for me. Well, Ever tells me that he thinks that Sean Donnelly is the one who stole the Quartermain fortune. Yeah, he's not the only one. I'm convinced of it. I'd like to nail that sucker to the wall. You know, he tried to make us believe that Dimitri Cassidyne ripped us off on a stop deal, but we know that he's lying. So, uh, uh, Edward also tells me that Monica's having an affair with Sean. Yep. He manipulated her to pull off his deal. Edward feels that we can get back at Sean if we can get the two of them at each other's throats. Which is where I come in. You bet. If Monica feels that she's being betrayed, <laughs> she'll turn on Sean Donnelly like that. Well, that shouldn't be hard for me to accomplish. Edward doesn't think so. As a matter of fact, he's been looking for you for weeks. Tiffany, if anybody can do it, you can. Well, my goodness. Seems that the Quartermains need me more than I need them. You know, you can tell Edward that I haven't changed my terms about this deal. In fact, I may up the ante. <laughs> the way I say, sweetheart, I am sitting in the driver's seat. You have zip. I have the trump card. Mm. Mm. Well, darling, breakfast was great. What's for lunch? You can't still be hungry. Yes, I can. Let me tell you what, if I have to stay in this, this, this boathouse until Edward shows up, I want to be fed. Now look, we can't let Monica see us together. Fine, fine, I'll get you something to eat, but we have to be careful. <laughs> I have to hand it to Edward, that old fox. <laughs> the plan is ingenious. Yeah. Well, well, what about me? Let me tell you something. I had an awful lot to do with the success of this plan. Well, I'm sure you did. I'm mm -hmm. a clever guy like you. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm the one who told Alan to plant a bug in Monica's room. Oh, boy, you should have heard the tape. It was dynamite. I would love to hear the tape. You know, in fact, if I did that, that might give me an edge, you know, to, 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 to hear Donnelly in action. I'm not talking about that kind of dynamite. I'm talking about their conversation. Well, what did they say? Oh, beautiful stuff like, uh, they couldn't wait to get rid of Alan. Uh, freedom is just one step away. Things like that. It was beautiful. That's perfect. I mean, it, I mean, it sounds like almost as if Alan wrote the scene himself. But that wasn't the best part. Mm -mm -mm. The best part was me planting all the evidence all over the place. So the police, the police will find it and declare Alan dead without finding his body. You did that? You bet. <laughs> With my own little hands. I planted every little piece of evidence they're gonna find. 
<laughs> well, I hope you didn't plan it too well. I mean, how long is it going to take them to find all this stuff? Are you kidding? We got a great police department here in Port Charles. Let me tell you something. It shouldn't take them more than, than a couple of days. Well, I certainly hope it's soon. I mean, I am dying of boredom. And I'm tired of being poor. Well, here, my dear. To them, finding all the evidence and to our eminent success. Here, here.